Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's about time we did some serious fabrication on the channel and we are going to be doing that with this axle. I'm rebuilding Heimdall. Not completely, but I want to reinforce a lot of things. So I'm going to start with the rear axle because it's been, it's had some work done on it, but I want to build a proper axle for the back. There's a lot of weight in that truck and I want a braced axle. So I went and got an axle casing off Mark. Uh, I've got to give him the other one back. So I've got to do, I've got to weld that one up, return it. Do, you, know, you know what it's like with mates, you just keep swapping things around. So what I'm going to do with this is this spring mount on this side is rotted through on this one. So I've got a replacement one from YRM. So that, that's going to go on there. Um, then it's got a spacer block that gets welded on. This is from XS 4x4. So that's going to give me like, um, yeah, I guess what, 15 mil lift on the back, like half inch. So that's what's going on that side. Then I've got a brace, a, a, a truss kit. So we're going to brace the back axle. So that's going on there. That's going on there. And then there's another spacer to go on this side. So that's this axle reinforced. And then it's got to have a diff guard put on, but I haven't got that with me. Um, am I going to cut the one off, on, off the back of the other axle, or I might just order another one? I'm not sure whether to replace the whole pan or just put a half guard on the rear. Not sure yet, but I want to get this done first. So first thing, we've got to cut that mount off and we've got to cut that bump stop off. It takes about five minutes. Just zip them off with the grinder and then shape all this to fit. Get it welded. So the first job I'm going to do is cut this off and just dress up where the old welds were so we can put that on first. Uh, if the audio is not too good, guys, the, I've had to take my microphone off because I'm going to be using the grinder, so I'm just using a distance microphone. So let's get that cut off. Um, it's damaged anyway, the spring mount's been ripped through. So let's get that off and uh, get this prepped. The quickest way known to man to remove one of these plasma cutter. So while we're at it, we might as well cut that one off. And then we've just got a bit of grinding to do. Uh, I probably gloves down somewhere.
Right. Now I've got those bits off. Uh, I'm going to spend 10 minutes just grinding this up. Uh, so I'm showing you grinding. You know what that looks like. So I'll get this ground off, get it all cleaned up, and we'll be back and we'll start some welding. Quite excited about this. This is going to be cool. Now the axle's all cleaned up where I need to weld and all the bits are cut off. It looks much better now. And I've got the new spring mount in place. So that's ready for welding. I've leveled it up, I've used, used the level, matched them both up. That's why the axle's sitting on blocks of wood. So first thing, I'm just gonna tack that on and double check it. Guys, that first weld, uh, which would be the one on the right of your screen, was a little bit cold. I had to turn the welder up a bit, but uh, I think that's got it. It ain't coming off, is it? The camera stay in focus. So that's the first part. So the mount's on, so now we'll just put the other piece on top of that. Now that's on, still tad warm. I've just bolted the plate on, just got a couple of sacrificial bolts. That way it's going to line up. Uh, M10 bolts, M10 holes, 
it's got to line up when we take it all apart and it because it's welded in place so I'll just put two welds on the inside two decent ones and that's it that's sorted so let's crack on with that They're not coming off. Well, that one isn't. Oh. Mmm. Brewdog. Clockwise. No, sorry, clockwork. That's uh, the beer of choice today. Right, that side's done. And now we're going to move on to this side. But what I'm going to do is have my tea now. So I'm going to do this tomorrow, which will be a couple of seconds for you. And a few more beers for me. And that's Karen home from work. People have to let me know when my doorbell rings. Do your dogs go nuts? So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have some tea. So it's the next day, and we're going to get this side welded up. So all the heat's out of that side, so that's good. Not that there was a lot of heat in it, it was not too bad. But uh, what we're going to do now, I'm going to weld on the end piece, which is the short piece that comes in this XS 4x4 kit. Uh, and then we're going to do the long piece, obviously. This is dead easy to do. There's literally, uh, yeah, there's four welds. One, two, three, four. Uh, always weld these opposite when you're doing them. And if you can give it some time between the welds, that would be even better to let the heat out of the axle. You do run the risk of warping the axle if you try to put a big long run in or if you were to weld one side all in one go, it's not going to work. So literally, it's like putting a head on, on an engine, you, you know, the cross pattern you do with the bolts, exactly the same theory with this. You want to pull everything square as you're welding. So literally, this is going to be one, two, three, four. Um, and I'll probably give it a few minutes between each weld. Uh, I've got the compressor so I can actually blow cold air up the axle to draw the heat out as well, which will help. So uh, I'll just put an air line in one end or in between welds, just blow air up the axle to get the heat out. So let's get on with this, get this welded. It shouldn't take more than 20 minutes really. It'll take me a bit longer because I'm filming, but you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, this will all be welded. So this is going to be my first weld, this is going to be number one, and then that's going to be the one directly opposite, it's going to be number two, number three, number four. So uh, let's get on with this welding. Fire up the welder. Make sure there's gas. So now we'll do the other side, we'll do number two.
oxide when this piece is complete. So now that bit's done, we can get on with this piece. And I've already trimmed it, squeezed it. In fact, I think it needs actually just to be squeezed in a bit more. Um, these come as a generic shape. They don't, they're not, they don't fit straight out of the box because there ain't no two axles the same. So they make them and then you've got to fit them. So uh, this had a little bit of a tweak. Uh, I've squeezed it in a little bit. It needs squeezing in a little bit more there. I'm bleeding, I've managed to cut my finger. There's, uh, I need to squeeze it in a bit more there as well. So uh, yeah, I'll give this a little bit more of a tweak. And then it's the same principle. I call that weld number one, number two, number four over here, whatever. There is a, there is a welding sequence and I'll have a look at it. But as long as you're not like welding one side at a time, don't do that and let the heat get out of everything. I mean that's already cool enough to torch, in fact it's barely even lukewarm. So uh, we're pretty good at getting the heat out of them. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll tweak this and we'll get it on. The first weld is going to be on the back here, that's going to be number one according to the instructions. This is actually one of the longest welds, so that makes sense because that's where most of the heat's going to be, is in this piece here, and this is the thickest part of the axle. So we're going to do one, then we're going to do number two is here, and then I'll keep referring to the destructions. And see how far we get. Shouldn't take many minutes to do this.
so I've got all the main section welded now so that's all the way along like the center and the top and all the other bits I've got to do now are the sides where you see that gap on the left hand side I've got to do that on both ends so I've got four more welds to do and this is pretty much done I'll give you a proper look at it when I finish those It's all welded in, there you go. I didn't show you all the welding, it was just more of welding, cooling, welding, cooling, welding, cooling. But literally I've just finished welding that. The centre's stone cold. There's a little bit of warmth left in that weld. This is not hot. It never even really got warm. The axle tube. No. Ah, there goes my screwdriver. Right, the battery's about to go on the camera, guys, so I'm going to run off and go and get another battery. There you go, I've just put another battery in the camera. So like I say, this isn't hot at all. So I've got one last thing to do, is to weld the spacer on this. Uh, so I'll bolt that on, and uh, we'll get some more welding done. Hey, more welding! <laughs> So just like the other side, gravity. Like I was just saying, um, just like the other side, I'm going to bolt the spacer on so we know it lines up. This is so much easier than trying to eyeball it when you're welding because you know it's going to move. It's worth the extra you know, couple of minutes just to bolt these in. So we'll just do the same, two welds on the inside and that's it. There you have it, that's all done. So I don't think we've warped this axle, I think it's still pretty straight, so that shouldn't be a problem. Like I said, there was no heat in this axle, so I have no concerns about that. So uh, that's all I can do now, I've got to get a diff guard. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here. There's going to be multiple episodes in uh, this series, so this is like, oh, let's call it episode one, eh? And uh, so in episode two, we're going to be doing the diff guard, giving this a coat of paint. And then uh, once we've got all the bits together, we can bring the truck in, because I've got all the parts for that, and I know some of them are out of stock. So it might take a while to get you know, to episode three or four or five or six. You know, who knows how far this is going to go. But uh, yeah, this is the end of episode one, guys. So if you've enjoyed it, give me that thumbs up. Make sure you've clicked on that notification bell. Definitely make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you on the next one.